Well, the whole story began last Tuesday when uh, we were flying in a, a vampire night fighter over Kent and uh, at 20,000 feet and I first sighted this object. The first sighting was of a, a tiny pinpoint of bright light. My first impression was that it was a star shining through the, the overcast and uh, I looked around to see if there were any more stars but obviously there weren't and uh, I continued watching this thing and for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds it remained stationary neither moving left or right. Um, after this time the thing obviously was moving towards us and before I reached the uh, overhead position I nudged my navigator flying off the smile to have a look up. Uh, by the time it got to the overhead position it appeared to be moving at quite a fast fantastic speed and uh, my impression of it, more or less a photographic impression uh, was of a round object, uh, quite a distinct outline, uh, still with the same intense light, with the maximum light uh, around or towards the periphery of the circle, uh, not quite so intense in the center. The size, uh, the only thing I can compare it with is the sun or the moon, and I had said that uh, the size was approximately half to three quarters of the size of the moon. Uh, its height, well there again, I haven't anything to <coughs> compare it with. There's no cloud on that there. No, there's no cloud at all. The visibility was about 100 miles from where we were. We could actually see the other side of the Isle of Wight. And what about its speed? Well, I can't give any indication of speed as I can't give a true um, idea of the height. The only thing is I can say that the impression was of a, an object very much higher above us and uh, therefore, that depending on height, would depend on the speed, but uh, truly has a very fantastic speed in uh, roughly the opposite direction. Thank you very much. Well, flying off the slide, can we have your side of the story? Well, I was rather busy at the time and I didn't see anything until the pilot told me to look up. And when I looked up, I saw this bright object almost immediately overhead going in the opposite direction at quite fantastic speed. And could it have been uh, any sort of meteorological instrument or balloon, in your opinion? Well, I don't think so. We've gone into this business, we've argued it out amongst ourselves, and we, we haven't yet arrived at any, anything conclusive. I don't think it was a, a met balloon, we don't think it was another aircraft. You're pretty used to seeing those. I've well, seen quite a few. Quite a few. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what about your conclusions? You say you've drawn none. Um, what did you think about this whole flying saucer story before you, s before you came across this one, or this event? Well, after this, this time I, I, I was a confirmed skeptic, but now I think I have an open mind. You're still, still open mind, just, just an open mind.